While mainland investors cheered the recent announcement on Shanghai's free trade zone, there were concerns that it'll steal the limelight from Hong Kong as an international center. Our reporter Zhu Dan has more from Hong Kong. This is the current Asian financial center, an international metropolis. And this is a city trying to become a future financial center. Hong Kong and Shanghai are always compared, partly due to the interplay between the two cities since the 1940s. But now, with the recently announced Shanghai Free Trade Zone, some believe it will put Hong Kong's future into the spotlight. We don't really look at Chinese cities as competition. Rather, we look at Chinese cities as the customers of Hong Kong. Mr. Chen says he's not worried Shanghai's free trade zone will threaten Hong Kong. On the contrary, Hong Kong's transformed itself from a small manufacturing center to a service center and now an international financial center, partly because China's opening up and reform. When you look at the past 30 years, when, whenever China opened up, Hong Kong gained more when we, when, instead of losing. You know, if, Hong, if China did not open up the way it is now, Hong Kong would never be an international financial center. Trade and logistics have helped Hong Kong's economy grow by 3 percent through the past quarter. The sector accounts for nearly 25 percent of Hong Kong's economic output. It's believed that business in Hong Kong is likely to face fierce competition from Shanghai as the harbor becomes fully active, especially after the setting up of free trade zone. Not only this, as the free trade zone plan may involve amendments to financial regulations, the liberalization will also be much greater in scale and broader in scope than other similar initiatives in China. Some say the free trade zone will be another Hong Kong. So, can Hong Kong be copied? That really depends on whether, whether Shanghai is able to maintain, to build up the kind of business environment that Hong Kong has. So it's not just low tariff. It's not just the ability to have interest rate liberalization, exchange rate liberalization. It's whether you have the system. By system, I mean, do you have the protection for private properties? Do you have the respect for contractual arrangements? Do you have really efficient government agencies? In the latest World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Report, Hong Kong moved up two places to seventh. It ranks top in infrastructure for the first consecutive year and also first in the area of financial market development. So a more realistic voice here in Hong Kong is that the new free trade deal for Shanghai would not threaten Hong Kong's leading position as one of the world's most important financial center cities and also one of the busiest ports. But in the long run, Hong Kong should ask itself what competitive strengths are unique to the city and whether this can be kept in the next decade or two. Even the success of Shanghai doesn't have to come at the expense of Hong Kong. After all, competition is not a bad thing. Through that CCTV, Hong Kong.